Welcome back mga listeners, readers, and followers sa Yesenia na Freedom Board. O sana sa Jack Confession na nga ang basahon karon. O kani nga confession kay ang response sa confession ni Kara. O gikan kini sa kasi ni Troy nga si Amanda. O ang title sa confession, A Letter for Kara. Hello Kara. It's me, Amanda. I'm so glad I found you through this confession page. A friend of mine just recently shared the story from this page. And out of curiosity, I read it and was shocked to find out it was you and Troy's love story. First of all, Kara, I want to say sorry. For not knowing the real story behind. I'm so sorry kay karon pa ko kahibaw sa tinuod nga panghitabo between ninyong duha. Ano wala sad ko na inform nga naa di ay moy anak. Kara, please forgive me for believing with all of Tita Margaret's lies. And fair judgments and criticisms towards you. I never realized that it was you nga lugi kaayo sa tanang panghitabo. But I thank you that for almost two years of trying to find you in Facebook and other social media sites, now, I finally found you through this confession page. Kara, Please forgive me kung mauni akong way para makipag-communicate ni mo. Since wala jud ko kahibaw sa imong username sa Facebook and since dili sad ma-search imong real name sa Facebook. Though dili kayo tasood, but still, I'm very sorry kay wala man lang ko kauli nga na sa Cebu para kumustahon ka. I'm a busy full-time mom with two little kids and one mighty husband right now. And naan ako karon sa Canada next day together with my family. Kara, do you still remember three years ago katong graduation time na mo in college? Di ba katong naata sa mansion ni Troy to have dinner? That was also the same date I said goodbye to all of you because I'm leaving for U.S. to continue my studies there. And since my family had already emigrated there. A year or so passed by and I was shocked after na kong nabalitaan niya na malihi na di ay silang Troy sa U.S. And guess what? They live near beside our house. And since we are third degree cousins, so it's easier for me to have bonding time and get together with them. But even a single word, Troy never spell out anything about you, your baby, and what happened between the two of you. Salud sa tulo ka tuig, sukad na malhin sila dere. Ang akong pagtuo kay naa kay laing lalaki. And you chose to broke up with Troy just to have your new. Daghan pang mga istorya ang gipahingsulti ni Tita Margaret sa ako. Nga ako po gipang tuuhan. And I was really mad at you that time. But not until nabasa na ko imong confession nga ni. And I want to be honest with you. I want you to know everything from the start up to the end. So please, continue reading this one. Kara, daghan ang mga nahitabo sulod sa tulo ka tuig ever since they stayed here. Three months after they immigrated, 
Troy was forced to get married. Since it was a planned and arranged marriage, and you already know how he dearly loved his parents so much. So walay nahimo si Troy, kundi pakasla ng babae. But their marriage was not the typical one. You know, the romantic one. Since adora sila nagstay sa house ni Lan Troy, which is just beside our house, dungog jud kaayo ilahang panaglalisay, murag halos tagaadlaw na lang. But well, their relationship went on despite of all their differences. I don't know kung anong nagdugay pa to silang duha, when in fact, the girl has this dirty manner, an attitude, and I don't really like her. Kara, Troy stopped from taking up law instead, he chose to have a work. I don't know kung unsay nasulod siyang ulo, pero he just suddenly changed his mind. He became really busy and workaholic. Usahay kung makita mi, he seems very stressed and haggard. Always gani na ko siyang i-remind to have himself a rest and a break. But he always says no. I could no more see his beautiful eyes, his laughter, and I could no more hear his corny jokes. He turned out to be a serious and a quiet man. He's no longer the same Troy, the same old best friend, and the same elder brother I've used to know. Kara, a year passed by and we found out that Tita Margaret was diagnosed with stage 2 colon cancer. Dugay na dahi ni niyang ginatago katong naapa sila sa Cebu. But she chose to keep it silent and she had her secret medication. They gave her the expensive medication but it seems nga mas nilala lang ang situation ni Tita. Her private doctor gave her a tanning of 2 years but if she would still continue her medication, she will have longer years. But she suggested not. According to Tita, What's the purpose of having an expensive medication and a private doctor kung mas mo sa motra di ay iyahang situation? So she decided to stop the medication kay aksaya lang daw sa kwarta o panahon. Although wala ka o yun si Tito and Troy, but wala sila mahimo kundi suportahan na lang ang desisyon ni Tita. Tita got bedridden. Panalagsa na lang siya magawasay. I once visited her and I joined their dinner. It was a silent dinner. No one had spoken until Tita started the topic. To cut it short, she asked Troy and his wife's favor. Kung pwede ba nilang hatagan og apo silang tita o tito, kay ganahan siya makita siyang apo before siya mamatay. Well, Troy did not answer right away. He seemed to be double-minded, so Tito William repeated it. And Troy, okay. He promised to do everything for his mom. 
and true to what he promised, Troy's wife gave his mom a cute little girl. They named the baby as Amber. After seeing the baby, lipay kayo si tita nga makita yun nimo siyang mga mata ang happiness. She looked so young that night nga morag wala siya'y sakit. But right after nag-3 months ang bata, last April 16, 2015, Tito William caught Tita Margaret not breathing anymore. Wala na niya na kayanan iyahang sitwasyon and she gave up. I was there to have a sympathy with Troy and his family. He never cried. He doesn't talk. He was just quiet for everything that happened. And his face was dim. Tita was buried on April 22, 2015. I saw how hard it is for Tito to accept that his wife is already gone. I saw how hard it was for him to move on. But Roy, he never spoke to anyone including me and his dad and even his wife. After six months, Tito William had his lived-in partner. My relatives got angry at him. Pero wala may mahimo kung mao iyang gusto. Gisabot o gisuportaan na lang po namo siya kay mauman iya hangway para makalimot sa nahitabo. And again, Troy seems not being affected. Morag wala siya'y pakialam nga ni Hawa na iyang papa o nakigpuyo o glain. In short, Murag wala siya'y pakialam sa mga panghitabo. Kara, you know how I love Troy and I treat him as my own elder brother. I was the one who caught his wife cheating on him. And I don't want to tolerate her dirty attitude. So I told everything to Troy. He was not angry nor mad of what I've reported. He's silent, he's calm, and right after knowing with his cheating wife, he broke up with her. Ang bagag na wo nga babae, maupay na suko o nanagpa kang Troy. Kalami ka ayong bugnoon by Hana. And guess what? Iyang gibiaan ang bata ang nilakaw siya nga wala man lay pananghid. Baga jud ka ayo og naong. Five months pa lang ang baby and Troy don't know anything sa pag-alaga og bata. So my mom decided nga sa gupon lang usa ang bata kay looy tawon kaayo kung adto ra siya sa ilang Troy. Mapasagdaan lang unya magsigig hilak. So kami ang nagpadako kang baby Amber. Days passed by ug wala na ko kita ni Troy nga nigawas. Permi na lang siya naglubog sulod sa yahang kwarto. Usahay kung musulod si mama, iyang pangasabaan si Troy kay Diyos Mio. Pagkahugaw o pagkagubot na lang jud sa balay. Unya ang mga sanina, sapatos o mga botilya 
nagkatag bisagasa. Napay kusina nga katag unya ang mga hugason nagtapok. Grabe kapait kahimtanga. Motong niya nanghid si Mama kan Troy nga mag-hire og maid para na timan sa balay og nisugot rapod siya. Ambot unsay na hitabo niya ato kara. Bat murag dako jud kaayo siya kausaban. Usahay mo uli nga hubog niya permi mag-inom sa iyang kwarto. Moriklamo na lang god ang maid kay iniglimpyo niya sa room ni Troy gubot pa kuno sa tanang gubot. Unya baho pa jud kuno kaayo og beer and alcohol. Usahay kanang muli ko gikan school mohapit ko sa ilang Troy para i-check kung okay lang ba siya kay wala naman siya sud-sud sa trabaho. Onya wala na gawas gawas One time, natiminga na ko siya sa iyahang kwarto. I saw him sitting beside his bed. Drinking alcoholic drinks and smoke. Niduol ko niya o niya nilingkod sa tobangan niya. Wala ko niya tagda. Wala po siya gisulti. Ako po, wala o na ako misulti o diretsyo. Ako o na siyang giobserbahan. Kara, dako jud kaayo siya kabaguhan. From his physical aspects to his emotional aspects. Nidaot siya, he lost weight, his face is haggard. He looks very tired. His eyes are weary. Unya ni miyahok iyahang nawong. Gitutuka na ko siya right straight into his eyes. And there, I saw loneliness, sadness, hurt, and emptiness. Kara, you know how much I cared for Troy. He's like a brother to me. And I was hurt seeing him like that. Nasakitan jud ko sa ako ang nakita. Murag ikumot o pag-ayo ako ang dughan sa ako ang nakita. And then I spoke to him. Troy, are you okay? Mitubag siya nga. Yes, I am. Why? No, you're not. I can see it in your eyes. Akong giingnan si Troy. Come on. Let's not talk about it. Amanda, I'm tired. Please. Ako siyang giingnan. Nga no. We need to talk. Mitubag siya nga, okay, about what? What do you want to talk about? Ako siyang ipangutana, nga Troy, have you ever checked for yourself? What for? Mitubag si Troy. Ogiing na na kasi ah, nga Troy, please help yourself up. This is not you. You are no longer the elder brother, the best friend that I used to know. You're not the same Troy anymore. Wala siya nito bag sa nitiwas kong istorya. Come on, speak up. You don't care about the world? How about baby Amber? Troy, She needs you. Amanda, please. And I was silent for a moment.
Ipangutalan na ako siya. At Troy, why are you doing this to yourself? He didn't answer me. Instead, he looked straight into my eyes. He was already teary-eyed this time. His eyes full of pain and agony. Huwag nangutan na siya sa kuwa. Have you ever tried to love someone? Mito ba ko niya nga? That girl? Amber's mom? Troy, she's not worthy of your love. She's a bitch. Huwag mito ba si Troy? Nga judgmental people here. Then me is Merck siya. Ha? Huh? What do you mean? Maunay akong pangutana niya. He didn't answer. Thus, he looked down to the battle he's holding. Umiingon ko nga, You mean, Kara? Umitubag siya nga, Look, Amanda, I'm so sorry. And he cried. Yes, He cried that night. He told me everything what's on his mind and heart. I comforted him like he was a baby. Poor little Troy. A void of everything good. You know, Kara, that night he told me everything He never let you out of his heart and mind. He never moved on. He still loves you so much. But he can't afford to betray his mom, who he dearly loved so much too. So he became a puppeter. Everything he do needs his mom's approval. And he regrets everything he did to you. And he said he can't afford to be back with you after everything he did unto you. Kara, that night when we talked, he gave me a piece of folded band paper. He said I have something to do with it. So I just nodded. And keep it inside my wallet. Kara, you know that night, we laughed, we smiled through tears, and he joked again. He seemed to be back once again, and I'm so glad. I saw the old Troy that night. I was really happy to see him back. And I did have a great time with him that night. Huwag miingon siya na ako nga. Amanda, I'm tired. I wanna rest. Mitubag ko nga. Okay. Okay. So you are all better now? Are you? Pangutana na ako niya. Huwag mi katawa siya. Huwag miingon. Yes. I am. Thank you. You made my day. Ako sad, nalipay. Huwag ako siyang ipangutan ha. Nga what about the one you gave me? Iyahang tubag? Just keep it. You have something to do with it. Just promise me you won't open it. Okay? Mitubag ko nga. Okay. So we'll see each other again. Promise? Mitubag siya nga. Yes. I promise. I'll be back soon. I just need a rest. Huwag may goodnight na ko niya. Huwag mitubag siya nga. Ang goodnight. Take care of baby Amber. Mitubag ko nga, 
Sure. No problem. This was our last convo. And I never realized this will be the last. Kara, the night after we talked, the next morning, I woke up because of the noise of ambulance and police patrons. Everyone is crying and I don't understand. I saw mom crying and she hugged me. I asked her about what's happening but she never answered. So I hurried out and went to Troy's house. My heart was beating so fast and tears rolled down from my eyes. And there, I saw his dead body hanging on the wall. Troy committed a suicide. Kara, I'm so sorry. I am very, very, very sorry. I didn't know this will going to happen. I feel guilty for not knowing this will gonna happen. I didn't know it was his way of saying goodbye. Kara, his body was cremated. It's been a year and a half since it happened. And still, I can't believe he's gone. Kara, I'm so sorry kung karon lang nako na sulti ni Motanan. I looked for you here in Facebook. I even tried to call you at your old number, but it was unavailable. And I was also busy with my studies up until now. Kara, a month after he was cremated, I remembered when he committed suicide, he was wearing a black t-shirt and there was printed letters on it. It said, read it. It took me a week to realize it was the piece of folded band paper he gave me that night he was referring to. Kara, when I opened the paper, I realized it was his last letter for you. A farewell letter. To my dearest one, Sweetheart, If ever God will give us another life to live, would you still choose to love a man like me? If you do, then thank you so much, sweetie. But if you don't, then I understand. I will accept it. I know I am coward, center-minded, a bastard, and a papiter. Sweetheart, forgive me for being like this. Forgive me for giving up on you and baby Marco. Forgive me for not fighting between the two of us. You know, mom died because of cancer. Dad had another woman and lived. I was forced to marry this woman and she cheated on me. All of these are not enough compared to what I did to you. I think this is my bad luck, but I deserve all of this. And you don't deserve someone like me. But sweetheart, despite of all my imperfections and misdoings, God gave me a beautiful gift, and it was baby Amber. I may not love 
her mom the way I loved you. But I love Amber the way I loved Marco. I love them both as my children. You know, sweetie, she looks a lot like me. It's like Amber and Marco are twins. If ever I die one day, can you accept her to be one of your children? Would you treat her the way you treat baby Marco? Treat her like your own blood. Langa, forgive me for saying that I don't deserve this gift of life. I don't deserve to live anymore. I'm a mess, a failure, a bastard. Forgive me if I bid you goodbye. I'm tired of all. I wanna rest. Sweetheart, if ever you will miss me, please look at Amber and Marco. They are the perfect resemblance of me and my memories. I love you. I loved you. And I will always love you. I miss you, missed you, and will miss you. Your love and memories keep me alive for years. But I think this is the end. Sweetheart, I thank you so much for everything. I thank you for accepting me and my whole identity. You will always be treasured. You are one in a million. You are a precious stone. My life was a blessing the moment I first saw you. I love you so much. Kara, I know this is a very shocking revelation. I know this will hurt you so much and I know it will be hard for you to accept all that happened. Even me, I'm still crying when I'm typing this confession. It's hard for all of us to accept the sudden truth. But we live in a cruel life. We live in an unfair life. Even when others are gone and they can no longer be with you, you still need to go on and survive because someone's waiting at your back longing for your love and that's your children, Marco and Amber. Kara, I hope one day madawat ni mo si baby Amber. She also needs a mother's love and I believe that only you can sustain the missing link she'd always been longing for. Kara, that was the last letter he wrote for you. This coming December 2017, I and my family are coming home in Cebu to celebrate Christmas. I will bring with me baby Amber and Troy's ash. If in case you want to see us and talk to me, please, Kara, please visit us soon in the old mansion of Troy's family. I'll be waiting for you. Thank you so much. And I'm sorry. Mga listeners and readers sa Yosinia na Freedom Board, mawakan na siya ang confession ng gika ni Amanda, ang kasi ni Troy, o kanang confession para kang kara.